Hey guys, it's Matt from Hobby King here. And today we have a video on how we made this Wonder Woman cosplay armor for the 2018 Comic-Con. So we made the bust here, and the gauntlets, which go on the forearm, as well as the armbands, which go on the upper arm, and the diadem, which is the part that goes on the forehead. So we made these by 3D printing. We use the X5S here, and the X3S. Now we slightly scaled these down so we could print them in time and they were also intended as static displays so we printed them in Hobby King Grey PLA. Uh, if you were going to wear it you'd want a bit more flexibility so you're better off printing with PETG or TPU. So the torso here was actually printed in three parts. We have the whole top half which splits about here and then these two side pieces which split down the middle here. And that's obviously to make it a bit easier to print. The other pieces here they were all printed in one piece. Now to split this model up, we use Netfab, and then to slice them all, we use Cura. Now the settings for the 3D print, we had the head temperature at 210 degrees, bed temperature 40 degrees, the density was 20% infill, the travel speed was 40 millimeters per second, and we did a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. And that gives you a much smoother surface. And we printed with supports and rafts. So the torso that was split into three parts, each part took around three to four days to print, and that's because of the 0.2 layer height with the smooth surface. The upper armbands and diadem, they were about three hours to print each, and the gauntlets were about 24 hours to print each. But as you can see here, it's a very smooth surface. And when you're printing, don't forget to use our Magigoo product, because when the bed heats up, it becomes an adhesive, which helps your print to stick, and when it cools down, it becomes a release agent, so your print just pops off. Now after we had our prints complete, we handed them over to an artist and cosplayer, Matthew Ferrugia, and he handled the finishing. To glue the three pieces of the Wonder Woman torso together, he used the Quick Cure Epoxy, which we sell on our website, and we'll place a link for this, along with all the other tools, down in the description below. He then gave it a light sand, and used the Tamiya Epoxy Putty to help blend those seams together. But since we did print at a 0.2 layer height, only very minimal sanding was needed to help smoothen out the surfaces. Then he used our Tamiya airbrush kit, which we sell on the website, along with our air compressor. And using our Vallejo paint range, he did the first layer as the primer, followed by the color layers. And then after that, the weathering detail to give it the authentic look. So that's how we made this Wonder Woman cosplay armor. And while we were presenting at Comic-Con this year, we also talked to other people that have used 3D printers to construct their cosplay masterpieces. Now, as you gear up to make your next cosplay outfit, Head on over to our hand tools page on our website and there you'll find a large range of tools to help you with any project. Now remember we printed this one as a static display using Hobby King Grey PLA but since you're probably going to want to be wearing yours you're far better off printing with PETG or TPU to give you that flexibility and comfort to wear it around. Now we'd love to see what you guys are getting up to so head on over to our community page on the website and you can share photos and videos of your custom cosplay creations. And remember to check the description below for all the links relating to today's video. And also subscribe for more information and upcoming videos. I'm Matt from Hobby King. See you next time.